Where do you place most of the blame on offense if you had to place the blame? And I'll just start this one off. You know, there's going to be two types of fans out there, the guys that really support Fields and sit there and will say, well, it was everything around Fields that went bad. And then there's the guys that always hate Fields that will sit there and just point a finger right at him. And I guess I'm the outlier here because I, I, I love Fields. I've been a, a huge supporter of him. But in my opinion, it starts with him. And – uh you know, you, you gotta make you gotta make the layups. You gotta make the easy throws. The, you know, your little dump off throws that are going over guys' heads. They, he can't, he had, didn't even throw a deep route. You know, um, until you can sit here and show me that you're capable of even running a, a simple offense as a coordinator, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable making it more complicated. Now, did they did they scheme the best scheme for him in the game? Probably not, but I, I do still feel that most of the blame has to fall on his shoulders as, as much as it hurts me to say it. So we've had the debate on this. I personally, I blame fields the least on this situation. Um, yeah. Did he have some missed throws and did he not take chances when he possibly should have? Yes. But a lot of what I think fields is negatives right now, are I think things that have been coached out of him. And I think a lot of the things that have been, uh, just kind of beaten into his brain about being more of a pocket passer, not, playing to his instinct. And I think you can coach instinct out of a player. And right now my biggest concern, because I love Justin Fields and I want him to be the next, you know, bears 10 year starter. I feel like we're just coaching the instinct out of a good player. So to me, I think it's coaching. It's going to go top down. And that's why I'm so concerned already in week one about like the rest of the season, but that's me. No, I'm kind of in that same boat as you there. I think, you have to give you have to put your quarterback in a position to succeed and you don't see a single quarterback in the league succeeding without great play calling all the good quarterbacks have good play callers and it's something that it's it's been questioned by a lot of fans when we hired Matt Eberflus i was i was fine with it when you don't get an offensive guy but i really did think going into it with a second year quarterback like Justin Fields that we would hire an offensive coach and the scheme this week was pathetic. I mean, you don't plan to attack a team horizontally. That's not – you don't have three receivers that run f- sub 4-4. Four, four. Actually, I mean, all six of our receivers that were active or all six of our receivers on the roster run sub 4-4 four, four, 40s. And you don't have that and then run a, a horizontal game plan, especially with Justin Fields' arm talent. Like, what we were supposed to do, they talked about it all year last year. They were establishing that identity. And it gave me faith in the coaching staff because even with the lack of talent we had on this roster, somehow we still led the league in rushing. It didn't amount to a lot of wins, but a team without any talent and bad offensive line, horrible defense, still ran for 3,000 yards on the ground. And they said it all year. That's our identity. Where was that identity yesterday? The, The stuff that we established last year, they didn't build on that and we couldn't even run the ball so it's almost like we took a step back and that's a hundred percent on the coaches to me because they yeah that's my biggest thing you you took the word out of my mouth identity and my biggest issue with and it felt towards the end and even in you could say the middle but it was very Matt Nagy-ish we remember Matt Nagy so well it was very five wide five curls This was screen pass, screen pass. The only other reason you would run a screen pass in Swift, you said it, it's like it's a changeup. It takes the pressure off of uh, the pass rush and stuff like that. The only other reason you you run lots and lots of screens is because you know you can't block up front. That's not true anymore. We saw a lot of clean pockets. We saw like two sacks that Justin Fields might have taken just because he overthought it and held onto the ball. And then two sacks where, you know, yeah, some, some pressure was given up. But there's it's a better line for sure. It's a better offensive line. And now you got a guy, Justin Fields, who, Justin, what do you do well? Well, I, I scramble really well. I throw on the run really well. And uh, I throw deep balls really well. And they go, shut up. You're going to you're gonna stand in the pocket. You're never going to run. And you're going to throw short balls exclusively. <laughs> Screen passes and, and, all day. And it, it drives me insane. 